Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at two functions of Word, a new one called Ink Editor, where you can use your stylus to, to edit um, your document more naturally, and joining that together with the um, track changes functionality inherited in Word. So initially, I'm just going to show you this, the, the ways you can edit the, the, your, your document, and then we'll actually put in the practice. So for example, you insert words using that little arrow symbol and put the word on top, and it will insert the word for you. You can add a new line, again, using that, that symbol um, there, and that will insert the line there. Join the words together. Make sure you've got your, your line on the two words, and it will join those two words together. Split a word. Just put the line between where you want it to uh, split, and it will, it will uh, put a space between those words. Select the words. If you, um, if you circle it, it will select those words, and you can do what you want with that. Um, and to delete. So to delete, you actually just um, put a line through it and it will delete it when you've got that functionality working. Okay, so that's how you do it. And so next step will be to show you how it works in Word. Okay, so now we're in Word. And what you, to, to find this, you start from, if you're in home, you start from home, go across to draw. Okay, and then what you'll do is you go across here to ink editor. You're going to click on Enable Ink Editor, and from this point now, we can actually uh, make our edits. So we could put a word in here. You notice how I drew that arrow there? That's how you need to draw it. Hello, um, let's change it to everybody, and it will insert the word. Then I want to delete everyone, okay? Feedback I want to join together. This one I want to separate. Oops, I need to put the line in there properly. And it's not let me do it, of course. Okay, sometimes a little bit finicky with that one. Um, and for example, if I think, oh, I need, 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 need another line here. Oops, did that. Yep, still did it. Okay, so these are the all... <coughs> All those functions I was telling you, um, showing you before, but actually in action. Now, how can we, um, and so sorry, now what I'm doing is I'm just going back to what I had at the start, how you can use this in, say, a classroom setting more so, um, or, you know, reading essays, you go to review, track changes. So I want to click on track changes. Okay. Now, the settings here, you have to going to have to play around with it to work out what you want. I've currently got it on all markup. So, for example, if I'm... If I realize I don't want a word here, I'm going to delete the word. It will delete it. And what you'll see across to the side, you don't actually see that it's shown it's been deleted. If I put um, put the, the line in there, it's going to um, put the line in. And that little um, line below it is signifying there's a space in there now. If I do, um, if I insert a word, um, Feedback to students on written work. Uh, might not work with as a full stop. Um, let's put it there. Students on their written work. It's going to insert again. That's signifying that as you, you've inserted that there. Again, I want a, a separate line. So it's provided a line. You might be saying there's a paragraph. Any of the, the settings we've done, and they're going to show up as changes to the student. So the student will see these changes that you've made, um, and you, it's you just write it on your screen. Okay, so that's a way you can use um, these two two features of Word. Thanks.